That was Urvashi Sethi, the owner of Kowloon Canton Steam, talking to us on our Desi Flowers Walk and Talk show. Right now, I'm standing with the captain of the team, Scott McCackney. Hi, Scott. How are you? Very well. So tell us, how is it? How is it teaming up with Ryan, with everybody? Oh, it's been fantastic so far. I think we're, we're very fortunate with the, the team of players that we've managed to pull together. Having Ryan's experience as, as coach and player also is going to be invaluable. And when you combine that with other guys like Simon Crook, I think those two between them have sort of 35 years of, of first-class cricket under their belt. And then combined with some of the youth that we have, it's a, it's a really nice balanced side to work with. How was it being a part of the team managed by nine women? Oh, it's excellent. <laughs> it's fantastic. They're a, they're a fantastic bunch. We, we know a lot of, of the ladies from Hong Kong cricket circles previously. A lot of their husbands play in the leagues here domestically in Hong Kong. A lot of their children play with and against ourselves. Uh, we even teach some of them. So uh, the connection there is, is quite strong. And, and the girls are so passionate and, and so keen to make this Kowloon Canton side um, real strong. And, uh, and we're all very dedicated to making sure that we, we repay their efforts. They've been fantastic all the way through. How challenging was it leading a team so diverse? Because everybody's coming with different backgrounds. You know, I'm sure they have different philosophies. How challenging is that? Uh, it can be, but I mean, I'd, I'd say that we're very lucky being in a place like Hong Kong where it's a, it's a very diverse environment. In Absolutely. any case, we have uh, lots of different cultures and, and lots of people from different environments, different backgrounds, and, and we communicate with those, those guys on a day-to-day -day basis. So I think Hong Kong's a great place where it does pull so many cultures, so many diverse people together. Um, and I think as, as captain, my main job is making sure that we communicate in those different ways effectively enough to make sure that we get the best out of these guys through the, the Hong Kong Blitz. Australian ex-captain Michael Clark, he will be playing under your captaincy. How does that feel? It's very exciting, isn't it? Very exciting. I mean, uh, Michael's record across the past sort of two decades at the highest level is, is outstanding. As a, a junior growing up learning the game, Michael was someone who I would watch and, and mould my cricket on. To now actually be, be able to lead him out onto the field is going to be a, obviously an outstanding opportunity. I think the, the wealth of knowledge and experience he will bring to the side is, um, is invaluable. And for, for all the boys here to have the opportunity to take the field with Michael, is a, it's going to be a really great opportunity. Absolutely. So what is the team strength, you, you would say? Is it the batting side or the bowling side? Uh, again, I'd, I'd go back to saying I think we're very well balanced. We were very lucky through the draft process and, and again, the owners working hard to, to get some guys in from overseas who we felt quite passionately about. And we had a bit of a mould in place from the start as to what we wanted from our, our batters and our bowlers. And, and I think in the end, a little bit of luck in the draft, uh, we pretty much got the exact squad we wanted. And it's a great balance between batting and bowling. I think where we're really going to come good is actually in the field. I think uh, in the shorter format of the game, the feeling is so important. Um, and with the youth and energy that we have uh, in this Kowloon Canton side, I think we've, we've got all bases pretty well covered. Thank you so much for talking to us, very Scott. Welcome. Wish you all the best Thanks and so we can't wait to watch you guys perform. Thank you very much. Thank you. That was Scott McKechnie, the captain of Kowloon Canton's team. You're watching Desi Flowers Walk and Talk show. My name is Padmini Pandit and right now we have with us the head coach of Kowloon Canton's team, Ryan Campbell. Ryan Campbell has played for Hong Kong, Australia, Western Australia and the Bad Rockets. Hi, Ryan. How are you? Very well, thank you. So how is it? How is it to be a part of Kowloon Canton's team? Very exciting. Uh, when the owners asked me to be involved, I, you know, I, I don't think anyone quite realised the heights that it was going to get to. Um, but we jumped at the chance because I thought it is going to be an exciting competition. Um, and now with everything that's going on, it's just getting better and better every, every day. It's almost some, some big name or someone new is being a part of the competition. So look, it's going to be a fantastic weekend. I was just asking Scott, how does it feel to be a part of the team owned by nine women? Well, I get bossed around enough by my uh, partner, so to get bossed around by nine more, that's you know, commonplace. But no, to be honest, they, they are, have been absolutely fantastic. Their organisation skills and their sponsorship drives and all that. Um, and to be honest, when someone first said to me that there was going to be nine women involved, I actually knew that's what was going to happen because I know that they're very well organised. Hopefully they're not going to have too much of an opinion on the actual cricket side of things, although I'm always open to listen, and they've been true to their word. Um, and I also knew that we'd probably end up being the best dressed team in the competition because they got good fashion sense. So Absolutely, I have no doubts on that. <laughs> so tell us something about your coaching philosophy. Do you have any, you know, like a coaching philosophy or a motto? Yeah, very simple. Uh, the team that panics last wins. 
Um, so I, I'm a big believer that you know everything I coach, it's about staying calm. Mm. It's about being able to think through the situation, um, and that doesn't matter if it's a five-year-old kid or a 50-year-old guy playing games, because in their mind, it's the biggest thing ever. You know, when they're over the bat or if they're bowling, and, and it's a massive thing to them. So if I can teach them to just stay calm in the moment, relax and think through, and let their skills uh, get through, hopefully you win. How challenging is it to coach a T20 team, you know, against a traditional test team or an ODI team? I'm sure there must be a difference, right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think when we put this team together, mm -hmm. I'm a big believer that T20, yes, it's, it's in fast motion. So you need people who can think mm -hmm. on the field and on their feet very quickly. Mm -hmm. So I think when we put this team together, I wanted to make sure there was lots of thinkers on the field, um, which we have, you know, the Scotties and the Simon Cooks and those sort of guys. I know that in any situation, they're two steps away, just a, a quick look, this is what I think, this is what I feel, let's try that, and away you go. Also, the pressure must be double, I'm sure. Oh, of course, there's pressure in everything. But like I say, that's the beauty of T20. Everything is rolled into one. So you get the best action, you get the worst action all you know, in three hours of, of fast net, break net speed. So um, like I say, and that's, you know, that motto of mine is even more prevalent when it comes to T20. Stay calm, slow down, mm -hmm. think for a second what you're doing, and hopefully your skills will come forward. Right. So who do you think, which team is the biggest threat to um, Kowloon Cantons at the moment? Oh, I think the um, the Woodworm Warriors are a very good team. You know, they, they had the number one draft picks and they made very good use of those in Tambor Afsal and Jamie um, Atkinson in the, in the Premier League draft. And then they've added their three overseas players are, are very good players. You know, they've, they've got big bash experience. Michael Swart was at, at once rated, I think, the eighth best all-rounder in T20 cricket for the, for the Dutch. Um, so yeah, I think they're going to be very hard to beat. And I also think the other two teams are fantastic as well. Hung Hom, uh, they're international players. We played against them for Hong Kong when we went to the World Cup um, and they were fantastic. <laughs> they hit the ball a long, long way. So look, I think anyone, T20 is about having a couple of guys play very well on the day and you can beat anyone. All right. Any any message for the fans in Hong Kong? We're waiting for this tournament to begin. Oh, I, I think just come along and enjoy this tournament because, you know, if someone had have said that a guy like Michael Clark would be coming and Dean Jones would be heading the commentary and all this sort of stuff, if you spoke about that in Hong Kong probably three, four months ago, everyone would have laughed at you. Mm -hmm. um, but here we are. We're about to be, you know, from the sounds of it, the corporate marquees and hospitality being sold out. There's people coming. People are getting phones when they walk in the door. Look, I think it's going to be the probably the most exciting two days of cricket in Hong Kong that's ever been. Looking forward. We are really excited about this event. Thank you so much for talking, for talking to us. Uh, Ryan, and all the best. No worries. Thank you very much. You. That was Ryan Campbell, the head coach of Kowloon Canton's team. That's all for today. Uh, we really hope you enjoyed our show. We had a lot of fun filming it. This is Padmini Pandit signing off with cameraman Azek Rahman.